guys, it's Tina here, and I'm bringing you the review of the Lumia 925, the new top flag of the Nokia company. The Lumia 925 has a 4.5 inches screen, AMOLED display, so deep blacks and good visibility outdoor. Then we have some features, so the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor, 1.5 gigahertz, 1 gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes, not expandable of hard storage and the the main body is all aluminum with the Gorilla Glass 2 on the front and the back panel this is in white is made of plastic but even if it's plastic it's really well made there is no flexibility between the plastic and the aluminum this is just a great build quality construction as the iPhone 5 or the HTC One so the phone is almost beautiful to me as the Lumia 920 but is thinner than that one and we have the dimension 130 millimeters tall 70 millimeters wide and 8.5 millimeters thick on one side and on the bottom there is nothing then on the other side we have the sim tray the usb charger and the headphone jack out then we have the buttons, volume up and volume down, the power button and the camera button. So well, now we can just turn on the phone to see how it works and there is even a cool feature, so turn on with the power button. Or, if you want, there is this cool feature to turn on the phone, so let's shut it down. Okay, and then instead of clicking the button, you can just double click the screen and it just works. Then we have the standard Windows Phone 8 system, very fluid, very smooth with all the application. If we swipe to the left, the, the screen, and exact, it's actually great as in every Windows Phone from the top to the bottom side phones. Then let's open some application to see how smooth it is. This is Office with Places, Recent, and shut down the application. And here we have eBay. It's not that great. You cannot sell items, but if you have to check your watching, buying or selling items, it's just fine. It works well. And then we can try with the settings. We have all the settings around here. There is no much you can do on Windows Phone. It's very different from Android, most of all, and even from iOS. So you can maybe change the color of the tiles but now let's see something about the camera so let's take a shot on something on my desk we can take a shot with the camera button just pressing full down the button half down it just set the focus then this is the picture it's pretty good it's a good camera with a pure view technology 8.7 megapixels and it's not amazing but it's actually better than all the other phones on the market so let's switch to video and you can record the video like this. Let's see some settings, maybe the photo settings with the scenes, ISO, exposure value, white balance. And actually the ISO, you can go up to 3200. And it's cool on the other cameras, you can go just to 800 at most. And, but there are not some, a lot of settings and even on the video side you can just select the white balance the focus on or the the quality 720p or 1080p then coming back to the os some features that we actually miss on windows phone 8 is instagram and the the best app you can find that seems similar to instagram is metrogram it seems the most complete respect all the others and you can see the upload of your contact you can like the pictures add your pictures but it actually it's not Instagram at all but we can stick with it you you know if you choose the Windows Phone 8 you are not gonna get all the apps you can get with Android or iOS that's the, the real problem with Windows Phone 8. But let's come back to the back of the phone. We have the speakers, there is the flash, the camera pure view, and then these three pins to connect the phone to the wireless cover. 
that has the three male pins and these three pins are the connection that allows the, the phone to recharge wirelessly. While on the Nokia Lumia 920 it was direct inside the phone, you, you just needed to stick the phone on the wireless surface and it will recharge himself. On the Lumia 925 you need to stick on the cover as I'm doing, and it's really simple. And then you actually see the cover is making the phone a little bit bigger, but it's it's cool for me, it's not bad. But now just take the the wireless surface. This is the wireless recharger, so you need to stick the phone on the 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 wireless white platform you are seeing right now and actually it has to be connected to uh, the with this cable and to the AC and just put the phone on the surface and it will recharge now it's not connected so it's not working but it actually works very well and if you want if you have the fat boy discussions you can stick inside the cushion the um, wireless uh, surface and stick the phone on the pillow on the four marks they made to let you know the exact position to recharge the phone put it on and then it goes recharging wirelessly without any kind of problem so now we can see another great features of the Nokia phones and it's actually the navigation system and the, the Nokia navigation system is way better than the Android ones or the iOS ones. It's just a great GPS. You can download the maps and use it without any kind of uh, connection or the Wi-Fi, you know, the 3 or 4G. So basically, this is the phone. I decided to change from my Android Galaxy Note 2 to the Lumia 925. Let's see if Windows can get me and let me forget iOS and Android and this is just a first look with some features not all the great features this phone has and I still have to learn them so guys thanks for watching leave a comment on what you think about the Lumia 925 and see you next time for the complete review about this phone thumbs up if you like